I'm gonna show you how to assemble IKEA Nordly chest of 8 drawers. Let's do it. And you're getting 5 boxes here, 4 small ones, 1 big one. Useful tools, bigger and smaller electric screwdriver with a hammer and the knee pads. If you like to see what I'm using, all the links for the tools and stuff I'm using is in the description. Free tip, put cardboard under where you're working if you have wooden floor or laminated floor so you're not gonna scratch your floor or your furniture. This is the biggest box, you're gonna get the manual instruction there. There's two type of drawers or options for this one, but we have the small one in this case. I'm just gonna open everything up quickly. So, but don't worry, I'm gonna go one by one through all the boxes and everything you need to know while you're assembling this I can hardly chest of drawer. So this is the smaller one, you're gonna have four same boxes. Uh, I'm just gonna go fast here till we get to the point and then we're gonna go one by one with everything. How to put this monster together. So this is the last box and this is all the stuff from the box. So you're gonna have all the panels here. Gonna have a few rails, then uh, screws and uh, more rails for the drawers. I'm just gonna open everything up here and we're gonna go step by step how to put this one together. Then all the three small boxes gonna be identical. Let's do the first box. So you're gonna have a three bags here. They're gonna be marked A, B and C. And we're gonna start with the bag A. This is the screws you're getting in there. I like to organize them so I know better what I'm working with. Now we're going to take the side panels and position them exactly the same as I have it here. Watch the holes and position them exactly the same. You're going to have an easier time while, we, while you're assembling. So three holes here. There is line of holes at the bottom and on top. And they're going to be connected this way. So they're gonna, we're going to mirror them later on. So it's going to be left and right side. Now we have the four rails. They are marked, two of them, they have mark L, left rail, and mark R, right rail. So put left on the left side, right on the right side. This is the back of the rail. Where is the hook? That's going to be important in a moment. So back side, the hook on the other side, exactly the same going on the back side of the panel. Now we're going to move the bottom one slightly out. We're going to place the locks in first. Otherwise we're not going to be able to get in when the rail is going to be there. So the locks coming in and on each lock, you're going to have the arrow at the front. This is the arrow on the each lock and that should be pointed to the front hole. Just like that. And that's going to apply to all the locks which we're going to use in here. So exactly the same at the front and on the other side the same thing. Arrow pointing to the front hole. This is the, the front and this is at the back. Last one coming in. And now we can secure the rails. Uh, regarding the holes on the rails at the front is going to be hole number one and at the back of the rail where is the hook is going to be hole number three that's going to apply to all four rails we we'll just position them two at the bottom and two on the middle now you're going to need those small screws which they were in the back a and we're going to secure them front first hole and at the back of the rail is going to be hole number three Make sure the heads are completely in so the rail is nicely secured at the front and at the back. Exactly the same for the second one, hole number one at the front and hole number three at the back. Same on the other side, two screws for each rail. This is the last one, two screws securing the rail. Now we're going to have a bottom panel, this is the one, so on one side gonna have those two holes and on the other side you're gonna have more holes gonna have four on the edges as well you're gonna need four metal locks exactly the same arrow pointing to the hole on the side and same on the other side another two locks you're gonna need wooden plugs and it's gonna be two on each side place them in and exactly the same on the other side two wooden plugs secure it now we can put this on the side for now you're gonna need four of these screws and place them at the back of the left and right side panel. Go just till the stopper, not deeper or not higher, otherwise you're gonna have a problem to connect the middle panel. Now we're gonna put the middle panel in, and where is the two holes? That's gonna be the inner side. Secure the locks by twisting them to the right side. Now 
and we're gonna connect the other side panel exactly the same we see the top holes on the side panel and the back panel are lining up position them exactly the same the holes of the back panel they are there for if you want to attach the unit to the wall later on but i'm going to explain that later on as we come to it so just join the other side panels and secure the locks by twisting them to the right side now we're going to have those two holes at the front and that's where the metal bar is going to go so you have this metal bar it's kind of u-shape here so position it exactly as i'm going to as we're going to do it here you see i put the u-shape upside down so the full part is on the top i'm going to need four of these screws and secure it this way it's a bit annoying if you're going to work alone because it's coming up and down but if i can do it you can do it okay we secure all four screws to on each side so we have the metal bar make sure position it this way so the u-shape is upside down or the full part is on the top now we have this done i'm going to show you how to do the drawers so this is the front panel for the drawer where is the cut that's the basically like a door handle but instead we have the cut on the top two side panels one back panel one bottom panel back b open it up organize the stuff inside you're gonna have an easier time while you're putting the thing together now we're gonna use first those four screws and we secure them two on each side watch in which hole is it going here just copy exactly the same what i'm doing and go just till the stopper not deeper not higher now we have those side panels it's two of them lines on this side that's they're gonna mirror like that so now you're gonna need wooden plugs and we're gonna place two wooden plugs in a each of this side panel secure them with the hammer and now you're gonna have plastic locks They're a bit fiddly so just go easy when you're gonna tighten them up they break easily plastic locks you gonna have the arrow so point the arrow to the front hole and place it in exactly the same for a second side panel two plastic locks place it in now the lines gonna line up so the lines on the side panel lining up with the front panel put it in now we have bottom panel one side is plain one side is colored on the edges you see you have this kind of twist up and position that exactly the same as i'm gonna put it here so just copy what i'm gonna do here just turn it so the white part is on the inner side and we're gonna go this way you're gonna see it here you see there is this cut on the in the corner but only from one side so just put it exactly as i'm doing here you see the angle i'm coming in so go exactly like that you're gonna have easier time to put it in if you're gonna go 90 degrees in not gonna be able to put that in so just twist it slightly towards you and once you push it in and once you in just slowly go up as the panel is all the way in if you're gonna go up too early you're just gonna break that connection so make sure you push it in as you come in and you see i was like kind of twisting in out slowly when i felt the bottom panel is in the front panel then you can lift it up completely other side panel place it in all the gaps are lining up nicely and now we secure the locks two on each side so just twist them to the right side back panel there is a gap at the bottom and we just place it exactly the same as we did the bottom panel you see the way i'm coming in not straight 90 degrees but maybe like 45 and slowly slowly don't push it all the way yet make sure that thing is inside and then you can push it all the way see it's resisting even now as i did it but you're gonna need those plugs and we're gonna secure that completely in some of them go easier some of them go a bit harder but the general rule is everything go have to go smooth in otherwise there's some problem you know i guess where it is kind of good with the with the whole construction so everything should go nice and easy as you're assembling no force now we're gonna have those two locks on each side at the back of the drawer and we secure it by twisting them to the right side of course all the arrows on the locks pointing to the hole at the front now we're gonna have those two locks it's kind of two plastic locks and place them here at the front in a two holes closer to the front panel the hook pointing down so push it exactly here as i as i'm doing it here cannot make mistake here because there's one bigger and one smaller hole that's what i'm pointing referring to as a hook it's gonna be the lock basically it's gonna lock the drawers so it's not gonna fail out once you open the drawer completely now we have those stickers this is just to kind of slow down the 
closing sound so it's not going to be like a metal, uh, wood on wood it's going to be like a rubber on wood it's going to be nicer softer closing not that loud closing okay now we're going to put the drawers in so just push the rails out this lock have to be unlocked so pushed closer to the front panel exactly the same just push it down so it's unlocked so you can come in easily now we we're gonna have lifted up the drawer at the back over the rail and push it at the back there is those hooks at the back of the drawer there is a hole you have to come in on one side and on the other side as well if you don't put the hook in you're not going to be able to put the drawer in at the front so make sure the back is done and then you can put it at the front here Let's lift it up and lock it. I'm going to show you more in detail here. You can see it here how, how it's all work. So basically this is unlocked. That's how it's supposed to be when you're putting that in, the lock. And here it is adjustable wheel. So if the drawers, uh, the fronts are not matching, you can still adjust the front with this small wheel under here. So that's adjustment for the drawer at the end if the gaps between the drawers are not exactly the same. And you just lock it this way. Exactly the same on the other side, just push the plastic in and lock the drawer in place. That's it. And we're going to do exactly the same with the second drawer. So push the rails out and have easier access this way. Drawer over the rail, make sure the backs are in first. So the hooks are in the holes at the back of the drawer on each side. And then we secure the front. At this point the front lock should be unlocked so you can come in on the both side. And once you're in, just lock it this way. Push the lock towards the back panel. Or stickers for each drawer to prevent the loud closing. There we go. We have one done. And now this is the bottom panel. I'm going to have bag number one with it. This is all the stuff you have there. So bag number one, two, and two of them is unmarked and there is a key as well. The two unmarked ones is for the wall fixing, but we're gonna work with bag number one first. There is these materials for the legs, and this is the legs, adjustable legs, which is a good thing. So just place all the legs in, you're gonna have six of these. That key which was in this box as well is gonna be useful at the end, so you can adjust the height of the, of the unit by twisting the legs as the unit is on the floor, which is very practical. I'm gonna explain that at the end. Okay, let's fix all the legs, make sure all of them are in, in the same position so it's not up and down. This material, if you have a wooden floor or a laminated floor, use it, you're not going to scratch your floors as you're moving your furniture around. On a carpet, usually this is just going to go as you move the furniture, but on the wooden floor it's useful. Turn it other way around, you're going to have those plastics and bag number two. Open it up, going to start with wooden plugs and place two wooden plugs on one side and two wooden plugs on the other side. Secure them in with the hammer and place the plastic on it. At the front it's going to be a bigger gap, at the back there is almost no gap. So push, put them exactly the same way as I did it here. See the same here, place them in and the back side is almost at the back and the front side have a gap at the front. We're going to have another wooden plugs and we're going to do exactly the same on the middle as we're going to have two units here. If you have the other unit, you're going to do it differently, but this is for this specific unit we do. Exactly the same, two plastics. We're going to need those screws now. And we're going to secure them through the plastic to the bottom panel. So make sure those plastics are correctly as I have it here, as I mentioned on one side. There is a gap between the plastic and end of the panel on, on the other side is almost at the back. Now we're going to secure those screws. Don't go crazy here. When you feel enough resistance, just stop. So you may break that plastic. So it's going to be two for each plastic. And last two on the other side. So this is the front. Where is the gap? So the front is closer to you now. Now we're going to open these drawers as we're going to put the, the units up on the bottom panel. Take the drawers out. If you put them already in, you don't need to put them in yet. I just did it for some reason. This is the one of the units. So just place it in on those screws. It's going to be one on one side, another one on the other side. 
it slide it in. I think those plastics at the bottom under it, they are there to space up to make a little bit of space so the drawer is going to slide it nice and easy and it's going to be equal gap between all of them. So this is the front where is the gap between the plastic and the end panel. The back is going to line up just like that. I'm going to do the same with the second unit, take the drawers out in advance, not like me here, struggling with the space a little bit. Second unit coming in exactly the same as the other one. Just slide it in on the screws and the wooden plugs and push it all the way down. Now you see the gap there, but because the plastic is white, it looks like a nice space between the bottom panel and the, uh, the drawer unit. And I think when you're going to put the drawers as well, you can have nice equal space between the drawers. I think that's the reason why the plastic is there. Okay, now we secure the locks. Just twist the locks to the right side to secure the connection. You're going to have one at the front and one at the back on each of the side panels. Twist it to the right side. This screwdriver is extremely useful for these locks because you, adjust, you can adjust the torque. So you can adjust how hard you're going to want to go on those uh, locks. So if you don't have that, you can easily override it or break the screws in there, especially with the plastic locks. Now we're going to have those wooden plugs and we're going to place two on each side of the side panels on the top. Back C2. And we're going to need all these stuff to connect the units together. First, metal locks. You're going to need eight of these. Place them in. And don't forget the arrow on the lock pointing to the front hole. Basically, where is the arrow on the lock? That's the opening of the lock. So if you twist it that way around, you're not going to be able to come with the screw, come in with the screw. So make sure the arrows are pointing to the front holes. Now we have these, which are going to be the connection between the bottom and the top panel. Place them in. And now do exactly the same what I do here. Just twist it like maybe 30 degrees, just enough for that metal stick not coming out, but it's locked already, just a little bit. And do exactly the same for all of them. Just twist it slightly, but not all the way. If you twist it all the way, then you're going to have maybe hard time with the top unit because the, uh, the lock is going to be kind of a little bit short. I found it on uh, some occasion. So just twist it like 30 degrees, the bottom one, Put the top units in, just easy, they just pop in on its own as you're in the right place, in the right holes, exactly the same for the second unit, find the right holes and place it in. Now we're gonna, now we can secure the top by twisting it, twisting the lock to the right side and finish the bottom, secure it completely by twisting to the right side. Here you can see I didn't move this one to the right side. And I just push it now about 40, 45 degrees, maybe a little bit more. And then the top is easily locking together. And then I finish the bottom. Even I didn't move this one and it was working. So it should work even without twisting it. But I like to twist the bottom first to have it locked slightly like that. Then completely the top and finish the bottom. And exactly the same for all of them. Just secure the top and finish the bottom. So we have all connections nice and secure. Now you have these wooden plugs. We're going to place them two on each side on the top of the side panels. Secure them with the hammer. Now we have more metal locks. We're going to place them in the those holes on the top. So it's going to be two holes on the each side of the side panels and exactly the same arrow pointing to the front hole on each of them. This is quite important. I know I'm repeating myself, but then you have a bigger panel to put it on the top and one of the, the locks are positioned wrong and then you have to go back, put it everything down, check which one it is. You have eight of them. So just wasting the time. Here's the top panel. You're going to need those screws here and we're going to secure them. It's going to be two screws on each side and on the middle. Not here because this is not the drawer uh, there is another option for this drawer, but we're not going to use the, the other holes. So in this case, we have uh, this one, which we're going to use two on each side and uh, four on the middle. Okay, now we can place the top panel in, Just sliding into the right holes. Is the holes where is the locks positioned? Make sure everything coming in. Once you're in, everything just pop in uh, nicely, so you don't need to use any pressure here. Once you don't have any gaps, 
You can secure the locks by twisting them to the right side. And that's going to be the same for all sides. So you're going to have eight of these. Just twist the locks to the right side to secure the connection between top panel and the side panels. This is the holes for the wall fixing. In this case, we're not going to use them, but that's what they are for. And you have the wall plugs and the screws included in the box as well, which they are here. But regarding wall plugs, depending on your wall as well, if you want to secure the unit to the wall, just make sure you have the correct wall plugs and the correct uh, screws. Regarding your walls, you can be, I don't know, uh, can be concrete, can be plasterboard, can be brick. So depending on your wall, you choose the wall plugs. And now we can put all the drawers in as we uh, did it before so just to back in first and then we secure um, the front locks for all of them it's a bit annoying but make sure you do it right and then the drawer is going to stay in a, in a place for a long time and it's going to be locked uh, securely as well as they're quite big so don't forget to lock them at the front with those small plastic locks which we did previously so once again last time this is the hook coming in to the drawer at the back and same on the other side, the hook have to come in and then you fix the front one on one side coming in, lock coming inside, securing the drawer, same on the other side and you are good. And same again, hook at the back first, so that's the place where it need to be. And same on the other side, front coming in, adjustable wheel there, you can use that later on, lock it on one side, lock it on the other side and do the same thing with the old drawers. Now I'm just gonna go fast here, as this is it for this IKEA Nordly chest of drawer. The Nordly range have a lot of different combinations, so you're probably gonna end up with a few extra screws here and uh, all other stuff, depending which unit you assembling, there is plenty of combinations, so I think they include uh, more screws in, um, in purpose for all the other possibility. Here you have the key, don't throw it and you can just adjust the unit this way, you don't need to lift it up or down, you can go easily under which is which is really good thing. I wish they have on all wardrobes or uh, drawers, things like that. And this is it, that's how you assemble IKEA Nordly chest of 8 drawers. I hope you enjoyed the video guys, if yes thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always, you will make my day and see you in my next one very very soon. Thank you for watching, have a fantastic day.